Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. There is never a bad time for some good friends. Dude, I'm in the bathroom. Get out of here. This is the Ace and Friends Radio Show. Fun, funny, and fast. It is Ace and Friends. Good morning. My day did not start out great, i got to be honest with you. I don't know. I spilled toothpaste on my shorts. I'm wearing purple shorts. And I spilled white toothpaste on my shorts. And then... Then, and I had the genius idea. Oh, I to wet this washcloth right here and wipe it off. That's a bad move. Just, just spreads it around. It just spreads it around like a big old pile of white on my shorts. How do you, <laughs> how do you spill toothpaste on your shorts? That is a fair question. I put it on the on the on the toothbrush, toothbrush and I guess I wasn't paying attention as I pulled it off. Um, and I and I had it all in my hand for whatever reason, and I just put the cap back on. I did and dumped some toothpaste off of it. Really? Yeah. I hate a toothpaste tube that doesn't have an attached cap. If that cap screws off and then it's just uh, off to the side, I hate that kind of toothpaste. Yeah, yeah. this one was a, was, was a separate little screw-on cap. Just connect them. I don't want to track down my toothpaste cap. Just you know, connect them. We went for years, though, not having connected toothpaste caps. We made it okay. Yeah, but things get better in the world. That's what, the, that's what I know, but does your toothpaste is, cap run off? Because you're yeah. Now you're I'm just, dealing with two only, pieces. But you only unscrew it just to use it and top back on it. It's not a big deal, is it? It's a very big deal. Am I, mean, I allowed to have an opinion about? You're, you're uh, allowed about I'm just, I'm, wanting it to be no, connected. You're allowed to have an opinion about anything, Riggins. I'm just curious. As this seems like a, a very important. It's not going to ruin my life that but, I never thought about before. It never occurred to me before that it was a big deal. Mm. Okay. I'm always watching. Rob, where do you stand on this breaking issue? I am going to say that I think you spilled the toothpaste because you were air drumming. I know that's what? not what you're asking, but yeah, no, I wasn't air drumming. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. It was early in the morning. I, I was trying know. to get it. Uh, I think you air drum all day. <laughs> oh, I do air drum all day. I absolutely do. A hundred percent in the car, especially. I'm I'm ferocious in the car air drummer, especially on the interstate when I have a chance to drive with my knee. I will I will pick songs specifically just to play some air drums. <laughs> and my 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 you know i have electronic drums and the the thing that connects my phone to the drum is drums is uh i think it's messed up because i can't get my phone to play i can hear the drums but now i can't hear the songs playing off my phone so um i'm not as up to par because i haven't been playing much for the past few months hardly any but uh, my drum solo has improved, but my my actual work within within the songs is lacking a little bit now. It's a little rusty. Mm. How so. am I supposed to know where the pocket is to get into it? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Rob. <laughs> exactly. Coming up on Ace and Friends. There is a social media site, an app that is so huge, you cannot even get on it to participate right now. The question is... Would you even want to? Uh, one of us definitely wants to. We're curious about the others. Coming up next. This is Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and Friends. Just so you stay abreast of what happens behind the scenes on Ace and Friends. <laughs> uh, good news. Turkey sub is the sub of the week or whatever. Specifically, <laughs> boar's head turkey, which is... Right. Well, that was the thing I was going to say. Rob mentions during the break... Uh, Riggins, real quick. Uh, 
turkey sub this week. Wherever this place is, they go to get the sub every week. And uh, Rob tells him, and then Riggins' first question was, uh, boar's head or regular turkey? Regular. And he goes, oh, boar's head. Boar's head. I was like, Spot. absolutely. Yeah. I wouldn't even we're, brought it up. We're turkey sub snobs, apparently. It's right? premium. If it's not boar's head, do you not? Is it not interesting it's, to you? Well, at that all? one's significantly <laughs> better. Okay. Yeah. So if a place has an option of turkeys and they have something other than boar's head, you you don't don't bother with it. You just don't. Yeah, a lot of delis will put right in their window. We only use uh -huh. boar's head products, and you're like, that's going to be a good deli. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that. I didn't mm -hmm. know it was that big a deal. People. The creme de la creme. Uh, there is a social media site, and Riggins, you understand the site better than I do, so maybe you can explain it a little bit better, but it's called Social Table. Yeah. And my understanding is, see if I describe this correctly, you essentially get invited to dinner with people you don't know. Correct. Groups of people. So yeah. it may be a dinner party for 10, and you show up knowing you're having dinner with nine other people. Yet you've never met any of them before. Yeah, the only difference is smaller groups than ten. Okay, it's usually like four to six. Yeah, but it, yeah, it, total strangers. Yeah, this girl kind of explains what she's doing with it. Dinner here. with five girls that I've never met before. Trying something new. It's this app called Social Table. They essentially set you up with four to eight people that you've never met before, based on your interests, and you go to dinner together. Thought it was a super cute idea, and it's right up my alley. I love making new friends. Earlier today, they sent me where we'd be going to dinner, and the time, and then they showed me who I would be going to dinner with, but I've never met them before. I'll let y'all know how it goes. Okay, so they do show you the people, I guess, so you yeah. need to identify them when you walk in the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here she is at the restaurant. She's walking into the restaurant uh, right now, and she's at the table. It was a lot of fun. I would totally do it again. After dinner, we went to Whistler's, which is right around the corner. Got another drink there and just talked. Definitely recommend if you're trying to make friends. You should try. That's interesting. To make friends as an adult. People sometimes, you know, it's hard for some people. This makes it a lot easier. I would 100% do that. I think that would be fascinating it's to do. Of, it's it's a social a experiment. Idea. Rob? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were talking about. Stupid. <laughs> Total strangers. Yeah, I think it would be have dinner fascinating together. to go because that you have some shared interest. There's something in common there already. Through the, that's how they scale you and put you together. I think that would be interesting. I ain't the, got time. This was the bet though, Rob. Yeah, Riggin said he likes the idea. He thought I would like it, but he was positive you would hate it. And true to form, you hate that idea. <laughs> you you should have known. <laughs> <laughs> we came here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends. We're here with our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies, and you know, Richard, people have credit card bills, and they need to use that equity, don't they? That's right. They use the equity in your home, restructure your debt, save yourself a bunch of money, and it's easy. We've got the instant equity. It's simple. They make you an offer. You can close in four days, get your money that quick. Ace, you've done it. Yeah, I've done it. It'll change yeah. your life in virtually no time. Starts with a free five-minute phone call, 704-800-4719, or online at homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Company. Richard Takato Company, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Ace and Friends. So there is an actress named Nicola Coughlin from Bridgerton. And her character, Penelope, is in a relationship with uh, someone named Colin Bridgerton on the show. Now, I don't watch Bridgerton. I gave it like three episodes and was like, this is not working for me. I checked out. Yeah. But um, people are pointing out that she is, let's say she's candy coated and he is much thinner. It's raised a lot of discussion about what they call mixed weight relationships. There's actually an article in Forbes that titled, are we still not ready for a mixed weight romance on screen? Now, apparently the Forbes article meant well, but a lot of people have gotten upset about this because there have been mixed weight relationships on TV for decades, but really they've never had the discussion before because it's always the guy who is heavier. The Flintstones, King of Queens, The Simpsons, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, mm -hmm. Family Matters. The husband, the guy, is the heavier of the two. I can't think of a, a mixed weight relationship where the woman is heavier. Yeah, and people are saying, why is Bridgerton, why is this such a novel thing? Why is it receiving such attention? And the only thing they can come up with is because the genders are switched. And for the first time, the woman okay. is the heavier set person as opposed to the man. 
One person tweeted, quote, every day there's a brand new way introduced to women that makes them feel bad about their perfectly fine bodies and their perfectly acceptable desires, end quote. Well, does it make them feel bad to see this relationship where the woman is heavy? Or is it the Are they referencing talking? the article? Maybe think, they're referencing. Okay, yeah, maybe that they're referencing might be what the they're article. saying. Yeah, but what the hell is Forbes doing talking about mixed weight relationship? You're Forbes. Yeah, you're Forbes. Stick in your lane. About money. You know, they they probably yeah. didn't do it uh, as delicately as they might. Yeah, and need to. And one woman said, "Quote: Remember, it's only a mixed weight relationship when the woman is fat. Fat men are still lovable." End quote. Hmm. And, I kind of get the argument. Yeah, it's an interesting conversation. It's something I never thought of, and I never, I guess, because I never realized. The given is always the guy's the heavy set one mm-hmm. in anything that you see in media. But it is getting a lot of attention and people are talking about it because the guy's the thinner one and it's the very rare case where the guy's the thinner one and she's the more heavy set one. Mm-hmm. What's what's the phrase? Uh, she ain't a lady unless she's two eighty. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> Who's who said that? <laughs> where, where did that come from? Right? I've heard it before. <laughs> Did you just make that up? No, I swear I've heard it. I, I I've never not. heard that. I've never heard she ain't a lady unless she's 280. Is that your senior quote in the yearbook? <laughs> <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. Our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies is here, and we're talking about home improvement. Uh, that doesn't just mean, like, my wife thinks our home would improve if I left it. <laughs> That's not what that means, is it? Yeah, for Jody, that would probably help her out. But for everybody else, we need a sun deck or they want a, a backyard kitchen. It's an easy phone call to 704-800-4719 or log on to homewithrichard.com. Now you've got the money in your home. Let Richard find it. HomeWithRichard.com is the Richard Takato Companies. Richard Takato Companies, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and friends. You are about to meet an old couple who we all should aspire to be. They are a retired couple from Virginia, Judy and Mike McNamara. And they are getting close to accomplishing, well, they're not close, I'm sorry. They're getting closer to accomplishing their dream. Their dream is to eat at every Texas Roadhouse location in the United States. Yep. And I'm Since proud. we were both retired at that time, it was like, okay, let's see how many we can go to. We're knocking them off pretty good. Last year was 79. This year will be 80 to 82 or three. I thought we were going to slow down, but we're apparently not doing that. As long as our health is good and I still can drive, you know, three or 400 miles a day, we're going to keep doing this. Three, 400 miles a day. So, by the way, when he says this year we're going to get 80 to 82, he doesn't mean they'll go to their 80th, 81st, and 82nd. He means they plan to hit 80 different Texas Roadhouse locations this year. Ugh, that um, doesn't even sound fun. No, it doesn't. I mean, I love Texas Roadhouse. I really do. Yeah, um, their total at the end of this year, if they hit 80 this year, their total would be just over 500. They went to their first one in 2003, but when Judy retired seven years ago, they really kicked it into high gear then. They just traveled around and hit the Texas Roadhouse and go to the next town. How many are there? Yes, yeah, that's, that's my question. 650. That's a lot less than I thought. To oh, so they're going to do them all. Yeah. 650. And they're how old? Uh, it doesn't say their age. Sounds like an old Just say they are a retired couple. But she retired in 2003. Oh, my God. So they must be real old. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take that back. She retired seven years ago. They went to their first one in 2003. Okay. So they've got to be in their 70s. I, I love that they, this is the first time we've ever been to a Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, they've been to 500, <laughs> just over 500 Texas Roadhouses by the end of the year. Yeah, I like Texas Roadhouse too. It's really good, but yeah, it's like every other day. Yeah, it's right? their way of seeing America. But you know what? They just hit the road and, and don't try anything yeah. local. Well, maybe they hit, yeah. <laughs> like they would, they would go it's, it's through not, and I don't like it. They would hit Concord, North Carolina, maybe for lunch. And then say, hey, there's a Texas Roadhouse in Hickory, North Carolina, an hour away. Drive there for dinner. Spend the night in a hotel. The next day they get up and drive to where's the next place? We'll drive to Chattanooga and hit the, you know, what? Mm. I don't know. Not Just crazy Gets them this. out to see America. That's stupid. Well, that is yeah. the good news. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so that's dumb. Yeah. 
This is Ace and Friends. We're here with our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies. And, you know, Richard, people have credit card bills, and they need to use that equity, don't they? That's right. They use the equity in your home, restructure your debt, save yourself a bunch of money, and it's easy. We've got the instant equity. It's simple. They make you an offer. You can close in four days, get your money that quick. Ace, you've done it. Yeah, I've done it. It'll yeah. change your life in virtually no time. Starts with a free five-minute phone call, 704-800-4719, or online at homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Company. Richard Takato Company, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Ace and Friends. I saw this woman online who has a dilemma, and I think we can help settle it once and for all. She's trying to convince her father, who's in his 60s, that it is not okay to like your own posts on social media. (laughs) You know, that you've put the post up. Obviously, you like it. No need for you to like your own post. (laughs) Yeah. But I did see somebody made the argument that it jumpstarts engagement if you like your own post. It does. You can also comment on your own post to kind of get some comments going because within you know how the post is going to do within the first 10 minutes. If it doesn't succeed after the first 10 minutes, it's probably a flop. So sometimes you can add a comment, but rarely does an extra like help. But I saw someone else point out that it's like sending yourself uh, a birthday card. Like commenting on yeah, your own, guess, or, or yeah. liking your own post is like sending yourself a birthday card. <laughs> <laughs> is the because I see a lot of um, like businesses will give a headline in the, in the the post and then they'll say link in the comments. Is that so they get extra engagement by making an extra post? Is that I mean a comment on it? Yeah, I mean that's one way to do it. You know, if you just want to keep the caption simple and stuff like that, but okay. it also adds yeah a comment and then the Instagram or whatever sees that somebody's comment on it, so they push it yeah. out a little bit more. It's different. Different strategies. A, it's totally different to me if you're a business. But I think an individual okay, it gets engagement going, but it just looks weird to me. Yeah. If you are commenting or are liking your own post. Yeah. You know, I, I guess if maybe we do it sometimes because or like I'll go in and comment on our posts. Or I know uh, when Amanda posts a TikTok of ours or whatever, of Dax or something, I'll go in and comment on it because I know that kind of helps Yeah, get the ball rolling. But still, it just seems like if you – if I'm just posting something, I'm typically just posting it for people who I know to see. Yeah. Check it out. I assume that most people that like their own posts either do it on accident or they don't know any better. You know, it's like older people. It's like your dad that's sixty something. It's like, yeah, I liked it. It was funny though. She was trying to convince me, but you've po- you posted it. You don't no need for you to like yeah, it. No, Obviously, you, you it. like it because you put it up there. Yeah. Is that the same guy that shared that pornographic thing to his story? No, it's not. <laughs> and I want to know the outcome of that. <laughs> Take uh, it down, Dad. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna leave it. Like, I'm gonna leave it. She's she's hot. I like Take that. it down. I wonder how many people have had to tell a parent or grandparent. Like, don't like that. People can see it or don't yeah. post that. Everybody can see that. Uh, it's not the same, but I've had to help my mom unlock her account many, many times on Facebook. Many, many times. Like, she locks herself out. She either in- inputs the wrong password too many times, and then she has to reset everything. Everything. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, it's one of those things I'm thankful for, that neither one of my parents were into social media. I mean, it wasn't really a huge thing. It just started to become a thing when my dad died. Uh, and my mom was like, mm, not interested. Yeah. It's a blessing. Yeah. Honestly, it, life was so much better before. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective it's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep when you buy three months supply of calitrin you will get three months free right now and consistency is the key with calitrin so order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss it's calitrin create an unforgettable experience with the cabarrus arena learn more at cabarrusarena.com weddings banquets shows expos they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Ace and Friends. So it is July 4th weekend. Celebrating America. Hell yeah. So how about a little all-American 
fact or fiction? Okay. All right. America's early colonists drank almost three times more than modern Americans. Fact or fiction? I'll say fiction. That's fiction. Uh, that is fact. They oh drank God. an average of six gallons of pure alcohol every year. In the 18th century, there were more taverns per capita than any other business in the country. Nowadays, the U.S. has one of the lowest rates of drinking in the developed world. I was kind of surprised to find that out. Um, let's see. Fact or fiction. In colonial America, drunk and disorderly people were carried away on a large wooden police wagon, which is where the phrase on or off the wagon comes from. Hmm. Fact or fiction. I hope that's fact because that's a good one. Rob? Fiction. That is fiction. Oh. It's because if you didn't drink alcohol back then, you probably went to the water wagon parked on the streets of most towns. So they would say you're off, wagon. you're off the wagon. Oh, you're not you're not on the water wagon, you're off in the bar. Ooh. Um fact or fiction. American fact or fiction. American made cigarettes cause more cancer than foreign made ones. Uh fact. That's fact. Yeah. According to a recent study, smokers of US cigarettes absorb three times more some cancer causing chemical I can't pronounce than European cigarettes. Um, <clears throat> American fact or fiction. America was the first country to offer separate men's and women's toilets in the late 1880s. Fiction. Rob? Fiction. That is fiction. Um, a restaurant in Paris first offered them in 1739. Um, fact or fiction. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches were most likely invented by American soldiers during World War II. I'm going to say fact. Love that. I'll say fact. That is a fact. There is no history of PB&J existing before the war when soldiers were given peanut butter and jelly in their rations. Man, that's awesome. awesome. No. That's a peanut butter and jelly. Uh, a fact or fiction. The original name of Bank of America was Bank of Italy. Oh, my gosh. I hope that's fiction. Rob? <sighs> fact. Fact. That is fact. French's American Mustard is owned by a British company. Fact or fiction? Oh, this better be fiction. I think it's a fact. That is a fact. Yeah. Jumping it. And instant coffee was invented by President George Washington. Fact or fiction? Fiction. No way. Fiction. It is fiction. It was a man named George Washington, but not that George Washington. This guy <laughs> came uh, to America in the late 1800s and started manufacturing instant coffee in 1910. Wow. I've never had instant coffee. I don't think I have either. That seems like an old person thing. It is an old person thing. <laughs> it definitely. Was, it was big in the 70s. I yeah. believe. Follow, follow. follow Ace and Friends on all social media platforms at Ace Cannon Media. More Ace and Friends coming up. Our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies is here, and we're talking about home improvement. Uh, that doesn't just mean, like, my wife thinks our home would improve if I left it. <laughs> That's not what that means, is it? Yeah, for Jody, that would probably help her out. But for everybody else, we need a sun deck or they want a, a backyard kitchen. It's an easy phone call to 704-800-4719 or log on to homewithrichard.com. And you've got the money in your home. Let Richard find it. HomeWithRichard.com. It's the Richard Takato Companies. Richard Takato Companies, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate. And years of research. We've decided great furniture. Is good fitting. And good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. This is Ace and Friends. Y'all know I love things that kind of remind you from time to time. Like, oh, yeah, that's uh, longer ago than I thought. How about this? Do you own... I'm start. I'm going to do, do this a different way. This is Ace and Friends. Uh, quick question. Do you own anything vintage? No. No. Uh, somebody just noticed that Apple now lists their original AirPods. Not the ones with the wire, but the first Bluetooth AirPods. They are now listed as a vintage product on their website. Um. These came out way back in September of 2016, eight years ago. So Apple considers a product to be vintage five years after they stopped selling it. 
So it's really their own definition of what is vintage. That's how they, they use it. But it's just weird to hear a term associated vintage. with you know something like that. Vintage makes you think like, oh, it's like 20, 30 years old. Turns that seemed cool. Yeah. Um, they moved their uh, they moved the AirPods to their vintage list on Monday, along with their first generation HomePod smart speaker. That ever really become a thing? The home, I guess it lost out. To, was it lost out to Alexa? What was the HomePod, Rob? I don't know. You can't hear me. And I was doing something else. That and the iPhone 10 that came out in 2017 yeah. was also moved to the vintage list. <laughs> Apple, nice try. We see what you're doing. Yeah, five years is what it takes to be considered vintage in Apple's world. <laughs> yeah. Which is them showcasing. Well, we're constantly creating new stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, after five years, it's all it's 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 old hat. It's out the window. You can't buy that stuff though, right? They say after it's done being sold. Yeah, I don't think you can. Buy, I don't think you can buy these AirPods anymore. They just moved on to something completely different by this point. See ya. Yeah, to put them in the Smithsonian. Neither one of you own anything that you would consider vintage. I wouldn't buy anything that's considered vintage. Old. I don't really like the disdain in your voice when you said that. So, but you're, yeah, y'all aren't vintage T-shirt shoppers I like or something new like stuff. that. Huh? Yeah. What about new stuff that's supposed to look old? Like I saw a, a, a T-shirt sale on Instagram the other day, and it was band T-shirts. And I went through looking. They were like three bucks. And I went through looking for a couple of them. They're brand new T-shirts, but you know they they look they're for old concerts and stuff. Yeah, oh, little poser ask, isn't it? Not yeah. if it's something I actually went to or would have attended. Probably yeah, but late. it's made to look old and it feels inauthentic. If you want to be a poser, go ahead. Okay. I couldn't think of a better word, but that's kind of how it feels like. You know, it's. So Made you would consider, look. so even though, like, say, I, as a child of the '80s, if I had a a, a Motley Crue tour T-shirt from the Girls 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 tour, which I saw not once but twice, that would be uh, make me a poser, even though because it's not from then, it's just a new T-shirt that right. looks like the one yeah. that I had then. If it's made to look old and it's not, then you're a poser. Well, I'm yeah. made to look old, but I'm you're not. Right. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on Ace and Friends. You got to be careful when you're in the delivery room and your baby's being delivered. You don't want to jump to a conclusion too fast or you'll never live it down. Next. This is Ace and Friends. We're here with our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies. And you know, richer people have credit card bills and they need to use that equity, don't they? That's right. They use the equity in your home, restructure your debt, save yourself a bunch of money. And it's easy. We've got the instant equity. It's simple. They make you an offer. You can close in four days, get your money that quick. Ace, you've done it. Yeah, I've done it. It'll change yeah. your life in virtually no time. Starts with a free five minute phone call 704 800 4719 or online at homewithrichard.com. The Richard Takato Company. Richard Takato Company, equal housing opportunity. NMLS number 38652. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day leave the shopping preparation and cooking to table and twine get details at tableandtwine.com that's tableandtwine.com ace and friends when a baby is being born there's a lot going on it's a lot of excitement and it's awkward for the dad because the doctor's got a job the nurses have a job the mom has a job and dad probably has a job, but it, you know he's just kind of there, and he's there to calm her down, talk talk through you, talk through the instructions, all that kind of stuff. Just be there as a calming presence. Um, it is not for dad to jump to any conclusions, though. Check out this guy who is uh, in the delivery room. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. There you go. Oh, it's not. I don't know. It's a girl. I mean, he looks right at this baby and goes, and like looks down, you know, and says, "It's a boy." I mean, what a what it's a like, boob! Hey, slow down, Bob. <laughs> and then you hear somebody in the background go, "That's not. It's not a boy. It's not a boy. <laughs> it's very <laughs> obvious. It's not a boy." I don't know. Like, hey, ease up. Uh, is that wishful thinking on his part? It, it, well, it, some people would look at it that way. 
Either way, it's a moment he's never going to live down. No. You know, they're always going to tell that child, you know, when you're on their birthday every year, you know, your dad thought you were a boy. Well, That's he's what he like, really wanted. He's like, I didn't know. I just, I, you know, saw the umbilical cord. I got confused, whatever. I like the idea of going into the the labor room blind, not knowing this. Because that just doesn't happen. You don't see that anymore. I do Everybody too. does like a huge gender reveal. Uh, but I think it's really cool to kind of just wait for the birth to happen and then you find out if you have a boy or a girl. I think that's thrilling. I nah. have always said that. <laughs> and neither one of my wives wanted to do that. I don't think it's, I don't think well, anybody does it. When we first prepared to have Peyton, we had that discussion. I was like, and I said, I don't want to know. And I remember my ex-wife saying, uh, yeah, I do want to know. They can just tell me. Uh, I was like, well, yeah. that'll never work because yeah. if they tell you, then you're going to begin preparing for whatever the sex is, maybe, and that's going yeah. to tip me off. So we might as well just, you know, if you would prefer to know, well, it'll be no. It's not that big a deal to me. But I've always said that. And when we had Dax, I told Amanda, you know, what if we don't know? She said, No, we need to know. You have to know to get ready and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I guess I get, things just kind of change. But I do yeah. see where it would be. I've always thought that. Agree it with you. So it, fun. it can be exciting to find out in the moment, like, Oh my God, it's a boy. Or why, oh my God, it's a girl. Why are you so against it, Rob? It's like I don't know if I'm going to run away. If it's a girl, I don't want to be there. <laughs> what? <laughs> going to run away. I'm going to cut his mic off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even ask me. Follow, follow. follow Ace and Friends on all social media platforms at Ace Cannon Media. More Ace and Friends coming up. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitron. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to Bradham Brothers. Ace and Friends. When you are in a relationship and that relationship ends... And you start another relationship. Does everything have to be new at that point? Or are you still able to go to the same places that you loved with the first person? For example, for many years, my first wife and I took the kids and we went to vacation in Hilton Head. That kind of became our place to go on vacation. For about four years in a row, I think we went to Hilton Head. And then she and I went to Hilton Head a couple of times, just the two of us. Would it be acceptable for now my second wife and I to take baby Dax and go on vacation to Hilton Head? Because I know the places that I like there to say like, hey, or is that weird? I wouldn't think it to go to a, to not to avoid a city. Because you used to go there? Yeah, I'm just, I'm asking. I, because, no, I wouldn't. Because there was, there was a story of a woman, uh, she and her ex-husband used to go on vacation to Clearwater, Florida. Um, she and her boyfriend, they talked about going to Clearwater. She mentioned, I love Clearwater, we should go there. He's like, I'm not going there because you went there with your ex. That's where you used to go with your ex-husband on vacation a couple times. Ooh, I get that. Now, uh, a big city is different. Uh, you know, uh, my first wife and I, we grew up in Louisiana, so we went to New Orleans a couple of times, the two of us. Amanda and I have been to New Orleans and had an amazing time. It was great because it's a, it's a whole different experience. But going to like a place like a, I don't know, it just seems like Hilton Head is a smaller place. And I, I don't know that it's something I would do. And I loved Hilton Head. I really loved it. And and this hasn't come up in my in my, my house at all. But would you go to the same place Mm -hmm. On vacation, Riggins with someone now. Sure. Even though you went there, but you you found it with your first with your your ex girlfriend. Yeah, years I, ago? I thought it was going to be like about a pillow or something. If this was her pillow, that I might swap out. But a whole city? Yeah. No way. A I'm whole not, city, man. I'm not going to do that. Rob, would it I, matter to you? I would. Uh, I'd go, but I would never tell the other person that it's where you used to go. 
Yeah, you probably can get. You don't well, need to make it yeah, public. If they you found it out, it makes it weird. I think, but if you if you just hide it from them for the rest of it, your lives together, um, you're good. Just pretend like, oh, this is the first time I've ever been here. Oh my god, I didn't know they had this down here. But I love that. Oh my gosh. So now you're lying <laughs> yeah, to to cover course. it up. Yeah. That makes it even worse. To I me. think so. We never lie about going. Yeah. No, well, you're different than me, I guess. <laughs> I think, Rob, I think we've established the fact that we're all a little uh, bit different yeah. than you, especially when it comes to relationships. <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. Our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies is here, and we're talking about home improvement. Uh, that doesn't just mean, like, my wife thinks our home would improve if I left it. <laughs> That's not what that means, is it? Yeah, for Jody, that would probably help her out. But for everybody else, we need a sun deck or they want a, a backyard kitchen. It's an easy phone call to 704-800-4719 or log on to homewithrichard.com. And you've got the money in your home. Let Richard find it. HomeWithRichard.com is the Richard Takato Companies. Richard Takato Companies, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there, there are all kinds of people that can help you do that. But not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash Temple Team. This is Ace and Friends. We're about to find out what kind of person you are. Like, there are some people that if you drop an ice cube in the kitchen some people pick it up other people kick it under the under the refrigerator and you kick it under the refrigerator people are bad news that's ace so when you go to the gas station and you pull in and you need to go inside and say you're going inside to get an ice frosty ice beverage and you're getting gas do you leave your car parked out there and go in. I have your before. car parked at the pump. I have before. If it's not busy, I'll, I'll, I have no problem leaving okay. the car there. But at least there's the caveat, Riggins, if it's not busy. Yeah. Oh, you got to make yeah. an assessment. Yeah, I've done that. You're at a gas station that has 12 pumps. Yeah. Eight pumps, whatever. You look around and go, okay, there are two people here. You have to really okay, size you, it up. There are six open pumps. I can run in there real quick and just leave the car parked right here. Yeah, but you if know, it's, sometimes it's a hassle to get in the car, drive it up there, get out. Oh, yeah. Go. Absolutely. Rob, are you a leave it at the pump person? I'm sorry, leave what at the pump? Are your car. Will you go inside and leave no, your no, car no. parked at the pump? No, not, not at all. No. That's good. We My wife is money. a leave it at the pump person. Just, just, we'll run in real fast. No, no, no. Yeah. I just refuse to do that. Ever? The, yeah. The, the idea, if if I've done it, I've looked around to see like, okay, there, there are 12 pumps here and three, yeah. there are nine open gas pumps. It's okay. I can leave it right here. Yeah. Does she at least, like, when she's approaching the door, feign like she has to look back and look at the, the pump number so she can tell him she needs to put 20 on that, that number? Yeah, you leave the pump. <laughs> no, uh, but that's a good uh, idea. Oh, okay, yeah, we're, I'm at pump 13. Got it. Pump 13. So pump as you 13. get to the door, like, put your hand on the hand and look back and go, uh, okay, got it, 13. Mm -hmm. okay. That's good. How often do you have to fake things like that, Rob? Oh. That's like pulling up to the drive through and being on your phone and saying, hang on a second, what do y'all want? Mm -hmm. Okay, because you don't want anybody to know that you ordered right. three orders. Look, my, there's constantly some sort of scheming going on in my head of some sort. Not necessarily like nefarious schemes, but just everyday schemes. <laughs> Give me an example of an everyday scheme that you've worked out lately, uh, Rob. I, it's just the, those two. You, oh, well, not necessarily uh, on the phone. I, I pretend like I have a list and I go, yeah, I'm going to get. Hold on. They wanted a Whopper. Um, I, so you look at your phone as if you have a typed out list? Yeah. Well, I'm, I I don't think they're looking at me usually, so I kind of just pretend. But I guess if they're looking at me, they're going to think I'm even crazier. <laughs> it's always scheming. I, I have love to, the way. I have so I love to do the a fact scheme. That you're not, you're ordering like through the drive through yet you still look at your phone as if to, so they think if they're like, if they're watching you through the speaker, they can see that you're have a list of, it's, with it's, other people. It's been a while since I've had to do that because most of the time I'll order ahead of time. Yeah. I don't, I don't, when I get to the drive through I just go, I have a mobile order for Rob. Thank you. I love that we just found out that Rob doesn't know how speakers work. <laughs> <laughs> They're watching They're me. They're watching through the speaker. <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. We're here with our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies. And, you know, Richard, people have credit card bills, and they need to use that equity, don't they? That's right. They use the equity in your home, restructure your debt, save yourself a bunch of money, and it's easy. We've got the instant equity. It's simple. They make you an offer. You can close in four days, get your money that quick. 
Ace, you've done it. Yeah, I've done it. It'll change yeah. your life in virtually no time. Starts with a free five-minute phone call, 704-800-4719, or online at homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Company. Richard Takato Company, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. They say there are only two things certain in life, sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at sweet dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and friends. We are about to step into a world heretofore unknown to men. Because I saw this video that had to ask my wife, hey, what am I missing here? What's the big deal? It all centers around uh, getting your toes done. But pay attention because guys, this is something we can, uh, we can all take this to heart and really learn something here. Something you might find very interesting that you did not know. I witnessed the craziest thing yesterday. I was getting my nails done, pale pink, basic but the girl sitting next to me, after the guy did one of her toes, she said, I'm so sorry, sir. I actually don't care for that color. Do you mind if we switch? <laughs> I would follow her into battle. And I went, oh, I don't get it. And I showed it to my wife and she said, oh, nobody ever changes their color once it's on. It's just too bad. Oh. So I started looking at the comments and the comments are things like, uh, she is my hero. This is the greatest woman alive. I would follow her into battle with you. It's just a, a, a long list of people talking about all the things that this woman is phenomenal. Uh, that is mind boggling it to is. me. It's something I had no idea is a very big deal. To get one nail done and decide, yeah. I'd like something a little different. Uh, Why is that such a monumentous yeah, all request. these comments are from women. Currently living with neon orange when I wanted a cool summer coral. She is my idol. One okay. lady said, I'm sorry, there's an option other than sitting there with crippling anxiety, regret, and borderline panic, and I'm just hearing about this now? <laughs> I'm so confused about it. Maybe it's just very intimidating to ask for what you want. Yeah, uh, right at a thousand comments, every one of them from a woman, Every one of them saying, this is a phenomenal woman. Well, these are clearly not women named Karen is all I can. Yeah. Never have yeah, I ever, right. but I sure wish I did. Huh. I had a pedicure a few days ago and they painted my toes the wrong color and I hate it. Of course, I said nothing and smiled and paid and tipped. <laughs> okay. Luckily, it's not that difficult to just go home and paint your nails, right? I never understood that. I would figure out how to do my own nails. If I had to go to get a manicure once a week, I'd figure out how to do it. I think I it's, get it though. it's very relaxing, but it's just part of the process, right? Like it's, yeah. it's the finishing touch of them. Yeah. You know, doing, doing your nails. They take good care of your nails, the manicure, the pedicure, the pedicure, especially they give you a calf rub that I just want to go to sleep. You having a little, you maybe you have a little glass of wine while you're sitting there. <laughs> Ma'am, can I only purchase oh, the leg rub? That thank you. Your nails. <laughs> <laughs> pedicure. No, I just came to get my calves massage. That's all. Get to it, please. That's right. Yeah, I this, ain't got time for all this. This woman is a hero. I just found that fascinating. That was such a big deal. I had no idea. Follow, follow Ace and Friends on all social media platforms at Ace Cannon Media. More Ace and Friends coming up. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. 
Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today.